on Mari today. No one can get away from the truth. Rolanda is set to marry her fiance this summer. Our venue picked out our wedding song. But she fears he's having an affair with her sister. <laughs> because her brother saw them doing this. They were tonguing each other. At the grocery store. In aisle six. In aisle six. Who's lying to Rolanda? You lying. Lying. Is it her brother? I don't know what to believe, Murray. I don't know what to believe. Or is it her sister? The lie detector test determined. Roxy and Jeff thought they finally found true love over the internet. I thought I finally found the one. But now she thinks he's cheating. And he thinks she's cheating. Knock, knock, knock at the door. Some scrubby guy holding a 12 pack of beer starts to walk in the door like he's been there before. They both feel this is their last chance at love. But after the truth is revealed, will this be the last time they ever see each other again? The lie detector test determined. And what he confesses and what is exposed will take this situation out of control. He probably felt scared. That's scared? why. Scared? Yeah. It's an action-packed hour of lie detector test drama, and it starts right now. Everyone, this is Jasmine. Welcome, Jasmine, back to the show. Now, if Jasmine looks familiar, it's because about a month ago, Jasmine appeared on our show with her off-again, on-again boyfriend, Christian. You see, Jasmine and Christian were at war because Christian was accusing her of cheating on him, and he denied their daughter. So, before we find out why Jasmine is back, take a look at their last appearance. You broke up with him three weeks ago. Yes, I did, Maureen. Why? Because my daughter does not deserve this. My daughter has done nothing wrong to that man for him to be denying that that is his baby. That's okay. not my baby! It's yes. not That's your not baby! My... That's not your baby! Why was you at the hospital? Son, don't Even shine with him. To tell me that my baby was the milkman's baby. How long ago they stopped delivering milk? Brown eyes? Yep. Brown eyes? Yep. Blow her? Oh, let me guess the you biology teacher. Well, it's your natural, brother. Come Did on, man. Get your pay off. Christian, oh, my feet when it's over? you are the father. <laughs> Have you had any type of sexual contact with any other man? You said no. You're telling the truth. I guess he did. That's, that's right, Maury. That's what he did. That's right, Maury. Well, guess what? Jasmine and Christian now are very much on again. But then why are they here? Because she wants Christian to take the lie detector that's test right. this time. That's right. That's right. She suspects he had cheated on her throughout their entire relationship. Yep. So. What happened when you told him you wanted him to take the lie detector? First of all, he got very defensive. Oh. Very defensive at the fact that I wanted him to take a lie detector. And then he admitted that he was with somebody. And then, and then he tried to take it back and say that he only said that to try to hurt my feelings. I believe he was with somebody. He was with somebody, Maury. And you know Wait. how I know, Maury? Why? You know how I know? Why? Because I gave Christian two condoms so that we wouldn't end up with another baby right away. Those condoms are missing. Oh. Those condoms are missing. Those condoms are missing. By the way, his ex got in touch with you on Facebook. Yep, she, she was Facebooking me. She was telling me that Christian was going to her motel room every single day for two weeks straight, having sex with her, saying that she, he wanted to be back with her, that they were supposed to move in together, that he didn't even want nothing to do with me. Yep. He denies it all. She thinks they have a plan for the future, doesn't she? Yeah, she it? told me. She told me that she's supposed to be moving back to our hometown, and them two are going to get back together and be living together. Okay. Okay. We'll see. By the way, what's happening to Christian and his body these days? Christian is now shaving his penis. Christian is now shaving his penis. 
Why you got? I accept you who you, you, who you are. Man. I love this man. I have been with this man for two years. I proved to this man that I never cheated on him. Never. I never once cheated on this man. I proved to him that that was his daughter. And the things that he puts me through is just, I'm just done. And I need to know the truth so I can move on with my life. <laughs> Maury, Maury, hold up, hold up, hold up. Maury, this girl tried to tell me that she was pregnant. She tried to tell me that, that the she was pregnant. the one in the apartment complex? No, that, that's a different girl. Oh, that's that's a, a different girl. That's a different girl. That is a different girl. Let me tell you, Maury, that one day I had a key to his house, and Christian left pretty early, so I went to his house to go see if he had been there. When I got there, I was actually walking out because I walked in, nobody was in the house. When I walked out, I seen Christian walking from the area where she lives at, and, hold on, was wearing different clothes and shoes that he had on when he left my house. He has answers for all this. I hope so, and he better tell the truth today. He better tell the truth Here's today. Christian. Welcome, Christian, everybody. Good to see you. She loves you. I love her too, Mari. Let's be honest right now, because yes, it's sir. something that went on. When she asked you to take a lie detector test, you then confessed that, yes, one time you were with a woman, then you took it back and you said you weren't. Now I'm giving you an opportunity right I now. did, and honestly, Maury... You were with somebody! You slept with somebody! You slept with somebody! You slept with somebody! Listen, Two years, listen, I never listen, cheated on we you. We weren't together. I that was a rough guy. But you know what? We were working on ourselves. He said one time. He said we one time. We were working on ourselves. But you know what? It was a rough Maury, match. I gave you him the even... chance to be honest. Okay. He was honest. On, why did we you have to take it together. back? Because he was... Why couldn't you be a man? Because I know why. That hurt. Why, Maury? Because he probably felt scared. That's why. Scared? Yeah. Scared? Honestly, he needs to be a man. He needs to be a man. Let's find. Let's find out what went on, okay? Okay, Christian, yes, let's sir. get past that one time. Right. Is that with the, was that with the ex? No, it wasn't. Was not with the this, ex. This wasn't. Let's talk about the ex. What's the story with the ex? Facebooking her and doing all that stuff. I never Facebooked the girl. Honestly, the girl sabotaging my relationship. You know what I mean? That's, that's just what the facts are. That's what the facts are. You know what I mean? The girl wants me, and I don't want her. This one. She, she right. knew things that... At the end of the day, you had the one thing that she wanted most out of life. Obviously, my I son, didn't because child. you wouldn't have been going to her motel room for two weeks straight. That was a rough time. Get out of here. Get out of here with that, man. Christian. Maury, Maury, we weren't even together. Okay. We weren't even together when, when, when I was seeing when, my when I was pregnant. When, when you were... When you... The one time you admitted that you did have with another woman, was yes. that the one in the apartment complex? No. 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 So, you see this? So, in you other words, this? you didn't sleep with a girl in the apartment complex. No, it was just oral. <laughs> okay. So now, that's how many? That's three? That's three? Come that's on. three? I'm being that's real. Three? We were together. That's three? We were Two together. Two years I gave you oh, wow. and a beautiful baby. We were together. A And you okay. put me through all that, it's all that accuser so The Come accuser on. is the one that's cheating. On. The accuser is the one that's cheating. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, Chris, up, Maury? How come you've changed the look of your body part? <laughs> Honestly, the one I wanted to wasn't pleasing me when I needed it to be happening. I was comfortable. So then why you I want was me? comfortable. If I don't please you the way you I want was to, then why do you want to stay with and me? And then, you know, rough facts. <laughs> Well, you came for this, Jasmine. That's now right. we have it. We have the lie detector Let's results. Get it. Let's 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 get
Let's get it. Let's get it. You were asked during your relationship with Jasmine, have you had sexual intercourse with another woman who you met on a dating site? You said no. The lie detector test determined. Drama's nowhere near over. <laughs> a lie detector test is about to reveal more than Jasmine ever imagined. I can't do this! I can't do this! Candace thinks her fiance is constantly cheating. Maybe has some help. Oh my God. That's with the help of his best friend, Lunch. Birds of a feather flock together. Boy, this is a grown man. Lunch says he's liked by everyone. You can miss breakfast, you can miss dinner, but everybody needs lunch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and everybody but how will Candace feel about him? I'm not cheating on her. I love this girl. Yes, you, you are. When the lie detector results come out. Does your friend Lunch help you cheat on Candace? Lie detector test determined. An hour of people trying to run away from the truth continues. Everyone, this is Candace. Welcome, Candace, to the show. Well, you might be able to see in three months, Candace and her fiance Chris will be welcoming their first child. But the relationship has been put to the test because Chris confessed to cheating with three other women. They were on a break, apparently. But so Can he says. Candace forgave him, hoping for a miracle. But now she believes it's going to take a miracle for Chris to pass this lie detector test. <laughs> Not only does Candace believe Chris is cheating with one of his exes, she suspects that Chris, who, by the way, is a barber, is giving haircuts in exchange for sex. <laughs> so Chris says he loves you. How many times has he proposed to you? More than four times. Like I told him, until I know what he's doing, I'm not gonna marry him. We have this baby coming. No, I'm not gonna marry him. You, uh... You also believe he has some help. His friend lunch, they go out, they don't come back until 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Lunch happens to be here. Yes, he's Why? right here. Why? Because yep. it's the Mari show, and we have every ingredient possible when it comes to lie detection. <laughs> So, basically, Candace is accusing you, Lunch, of being his wingman. He Come is their best now. friends. Birds of a feather flock together. Moore, this is a grown man. This is a grown day. man, Moore. Every day you, you know what I'm saying? This is a grown man. Yes. I, I'm not yes. the puppet master. So, oh, yes. he's a grown man. He's not the puppet, right? Yeah, come on. See, that's like yeah, I just got it. Oh, come on, Chris. We're about to go he, cheat. Where did the name Lunch come from? <laughs> hey, man, you know. Hey. <laughs> You can miss breakfast, you can miss dinner, but everybody need lunch. You know what I'm saying? And everybody needs Chris, too. So that's you know? why Chris rolls with him. That's why he rolls Straight with up. him. I like you know that. Exactly. Man? He goes with exactly. him. Everybody right? likes lunch, exactly. right? Is that's that right. the way it is? You know what I'm saying? Look, if he, he cheated needs once, to grow up. then what you should have done what? Has a child on you should have not messed with him no more. Needs to grow but instead, up. you took he him needs back. He needs to grow up. You know what I'm saying? I'm at home. That's all you. I'm not cheating on him. Get together. He needs to grow up. By the way, you're worried more than anything else about the ex, right? Oh, yes. There's been multiple incidences with this woman. Right. We'll get into it. He, instead of him staying at home and trying to work the situation out, he bounces, and I call him, and that's where he is. That's he just did it the out. day before yesterday. <laughs> but she's pounding you on Facebook, isn't oh, she? Oh, yeah. She messages me. She texts me, telling me everything they're supposed to be doing. We're physically having sex. You even saw a video on oh, Facebook. Oh, my God. I was blocked from his page. He has a video of his ex singing love songs to her. I asked him about the video. He says, oh, I was over there spending time with my right. But your was nowhere in the video. So tell me who you're really spending time with. Come on. Ain't nobody crazy. Please, come on. OK. Whatever. You know, Whatever. Chris has answers to everything. Whatever. Watch this. I've asked Candace to marry me four different times. But she won't say yes until I pass a lie detector test. So here I am. She's pregnant with our first child, and I can't wait to start a family with her. I admitted to cheating on Candace three times, and it was the biggest mistake of my life. I'm a barber. I have a lot of female clients. Candace constantly accuses me of having sex with them, and I'm losing business over this. I call her Crazy Candace because she's constantly making things up in her head. Candace thinks my best friend Lunch is helping me cheat. Just because he gets around, doesn't mean I do. I love this woman, but she's driving me crazy. I can't wait to prove her wrong so we can say I do and get married. Here's Chris. Whatever. Yeah. There he is. By the way, 
Good looking guy. Big Maury, smile. He's been walking around the house reciting how he's going to pass this test. <laughs> like that's yeah. going to do something. No. Like that's going to, he's making, I'm not lie. he likes so much. He starts Maury, to believe his lies. Time to talk? He starts to, didn't she have he time should to get talk? an Oscar Now it's my lies. turn. He lies so exactly. much. It's my turn. Yeah, whatever. Let me talk. Yeah. Let me talk. Go ahead, Chris. I'm not cheating on her. I love this girl. Yes, you, you are. Yes, you, you are. Her? But you yes, did you three are. times, and she took you back. Yeah. But she's always throwing me out. And one time you if do it, you're going to do it again. When I get thrown out, you're gonna do what, it again. what am I supposed to do? How's your man lunch? Oh, man, 50 grand. That's my grand. man. 50 grand. We've been knowing each other for so long. Oh, 50,000 <laughs> lies for his ass. No. 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 So you cut hair, right? Yes, I'm a barber. Apparently, you cut hair in the middle of the night. No, no. She called the client. She's going through my phone, oh. and she called the because girl. Because she called his phone at no. 10 o'clock at night, no. and the barbershop she is called closed. The girl. So what's she calling she him called. for? And Murray. then when I asked the girl who she is, again? Yeah. can no, I speak the again? Girl, the girl Did she told me, talk? no, you can't speak. <laughs> the lady <laughs> told me, she told me, oh, <laughs> don't worry about who I am. Ask your man. Man. Okay. Man who That's I what am. I'm asking right now. That's not me. How about the video singing love songs and things like that? It was a whole comedy skit. Uh, if, you, comedy if, skit. if you watch the whole thing, he's if you comedy. watch the whole thing, he's a you'll comedian. see it. He's if a you comedian. watch the whole thing, you'll see it. Yeah. I'll tell comedian. you what's not going to be a comedy <laughs> the results of these lie detector tests. <laughs> <laughs> Your ass, does your friend lunch help you cheat on Candace? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Really? Oh, really? No. Did wow. you have sexual intercourse oh, with wow. another woman the night you claimed you woke up wow. in an abandoned car? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Oh, come on now. No. Your ass, if during your relationship with Candace, did you ever give a free haircut to a woman you had sexual intercourse with? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh, hell no. And you were asked if during your relationship with Candace, have you ever had a secret relationship with your ex? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh, hell Everything's no. a lie? No. Everything's Candace. a lie? Bogus. Candace. Candace. Bogus. Everything's a lie? You are Bogus. pregnant with it's his child. Yes. You are yeah, six months. He should have thought about that. He should have thought about that. You gonna move with her now? Everything's a lie. No, it ain't no lie. Okay. It ain't no lie. Okay. She's still gonna marry me. Am I crazy now? She's still gonna marry me. Am I crazy now? She's still gonna marry me. You crazy, Candace? You know, you know me. And you're insecure. You know what I'm saying? You're crazy. I'm insecure. But the lie detector does not say that you even help them now. You can't kick somebody out every day. You help them. And expect them not to do nothing. You can't have stipulations like that. That's enough. Whatever. Whatever. Roxy and Jeff thought they finally found true love over the internet. I thought I finally found the one. But now she thinks he's cheating. And he thinks she's cheating. Knock, knock, knock at the door. Some scrubby guy holding a 12-pack of beer starts to walk in the door like he's been there before. They both feel this is their last chance at love. But after the truth is revealed, will this be the last time they ever see each other again? The lie detector test determined. People trying to run away from the truth continues. Everyone, this is Roxy. Welcome, Roxy, to the show. <laughs> backstage, backstage is Roxy's boyfriend, Jeff. Before meet, meeting each other, Roxy and Jeff went through bad relationships. They were both mistreated. They were cheated on. Then they found each other. They said this was their last chance at love. Now, one year into the relationship, both Roxy and Jeff feel their demons have returned. Roxy thinks Jeff has cheated on her. Jeff thinks Roxy is cheating on him. Here's her story. When I met Jeff, I thought I finally found the one. We were both cheated on in the past, and he promised me he would never hurt me. But now I feel like he's lying to me just like the rest of them. I'm pretty sure Jeff is cheating on me with his ex. He let her stay with him at a hotel. And when I went there, I smelled perfume all over the bed that he slept in. One night when I came home, I saw sex stains on her sheets. 
Jeff said it was for me and him, but I changed those sheets that morning. And we never even had sex that day. Jeff tries to play the victim. He is actually accusing me of cheating on him. I can't wait to prove him wrong. Okay. So, how'd y'all meet? Um, we met on OkCupid, and I thought... Oh, a, da a, 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 da a, a dating site. And yeah. I met him, and, you know, he memorized me with his magic. He's a, he's a magician, and um, just made me laugh. And I thought this was the man of my dreams. I and, thought and my search was over. Right. Why Done. do you think he cheated with one of his exes? I come home one day, and my house smelled like cigarette smoke. And she smokes, and neither one of us do. And I, he points out these stains on our sheets, and we didn't even have sex that day. And I, changed, I made, the bed the, made the bed the night before. Okay. Guess what? He demanded that you take a lot of time. Yeah, he's always, he's always accusing me. He's always accusing so me of cheating. I go to work. You did, yeah, I took and he attention. did. Yeah. And this is what he had to say. Roxy and I have both been cheated on in the past pretty bad. When we met, we both fell in love right away, and I told her I would never do anything to hurt her. Now I'm being accused of cheating, and it's really pissing me off because I feel she's the one that's guilty. I heard Roxy was having sex with one of her co-workers for two months straight. Roxy thinks I had sex with my ex when I let her stay in our hotel room. I was just being nice because she had nowhere to go. We slept in separate beds. I love Roxy and I truly believe that we are meant to be together. I know I'm innocent. I just hope she can prove the same. All right, everybody, here's Jeff. Jeff, come on out. You're not cheating on me. No, I'm not cheating. Well, why did you ask her to take a lie detector test then? Because there's times when I came home one time, I picked her up from work. Ten minutes later, Maury, we go down to the apartment, knock, knock, knock at the door. I open the door, some scrubby guy holding a 12-pack of beer starts to walk in the door like he's been there before. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. And then I said, I and then I said to him, what, he looked at me and said, what are you doing? He showed up my door. I looked at him, I said, what are you doing? He's like, uh, oh, is Roxy here? And I went, what? I said, really? I said, who are you? I'm a guy, tell her, it's her, tell her it's her friend from work. So I said, hey, and she jumps up, hey, will you tell him you've never been here before, you've never been here before, because he's jealous, he's crazy, he's going to think you've been here before. And he, I, he looked at her and went, whatever. It just looked terrible that this guy showed up at my door. I don't know how he knew where I lived. By the way, let's talk about you and your ex. Right. Was she in your house smoking and having no, sex? No, she was not. I said, what do you smell? Smoke. She's like, I smell it, damn it. I know you're lying. You've had some bitch in my house. No, no, I have not. I, no, I have not. How about not. the stains on the sheets? The stains on the sheets are from us. And she said, uh, oh, we, we I washed the sheets. We she, didn't even have sex. She said, we no, didn't even no. have sex the day before, which we did. She forgets no, She don't oh, remember nothing. Oh, then she oh said, oh, those are I my stains. Forget. She says, I want to take him for a DNA thing. I said, let's do that. So when I go down there to find out, they said it's $800. No, I don't want to do it. Well, you know, she's like, no, I don't want to do it. And then I said, well, let's take a lie detector test. Well, you know, I really don't think those are accurate. That's why they don't use them in court. I went, oh, really? They're not. Well, they're accurate enough here, right, Ralph? <laughs> okay. Here are Jeff's lie detector results. You're asked, did the sex stains on your one. sheets come from you having sexual course with another woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. Yeah! What? 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 Hey, I'm sorry. I'm, that's the only one. There's, there's more. You were asked, did Roxy smell perfume on your pillow because you had sexual intercourse with your ex? You said no. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. Yes! What? I'm, what? I'm telling the truth. I love you. And you don't believe me. You've got to stop. You were asked, during your relationship with Roxy, have you ever had sexual intercourse with your ex-girlfriends who Roxy is worried about? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. What? 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 Stand up. Yeah. That's right. That's yeah. You were asked, you. during your relationship with Roxy, have you ever had sexual contact of any kind with any other woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. We got a test for her. Thank you.
You were asked during your relationship with Jeff, have you had sexual intercourse with any of your male co-workers? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Thank you. You were asked during your relationship with Jeff, have you ever had sexual contact of any kind with any other person? You said no. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. We will be back in a moment. Rolanda is set to marry her fiancé this summer. Our venue picked out our wedding song. But she fears he's having an affair with her sister. <laughs> because her brother saw them doing this. They were tonguing each other. At the grocery store. In aisle six. In aisle six. Who's lying to Rolanda? <laughs> you think he lying? Lying? Is it her brother? I don't know what to believe, Murray. I don't know what to believe. Or is it her sister? The lie detector test determined... people trying to run away from the truth continues. Everyone, this is Rolanda. Welcome, Rolanda, to the show. Now, in three months, Rolanda is set to marry the father of her children, Servari. Now, three months ago, the future of Rolanda's family was put in jeopardy when Rolanda's brother, Roland, came to her, made an unbelievable accusation because Roland claims he actually saw Shivari making out with another woman at the grocery store. <laughs> and the other woman, the other woman was Rolanda's sister, Kurtia. <laughs> Shivari and I have three beautiful children together. We are planning to get married July 9th, and everything is picked out. But if I find out he's cheating, everything's canceled. The worst part about this is I think he's cheating with my sister, Curtia. My brother, Roland, caught them cuddling on my couch. He also caught them at the grocery store holding hands and kissing. Shabari has said Roland is lying, but I don't know who to believe. And I caught him on a dating website. He was sending pictures of his private part to other women. If this lie detector determined that Shabari has been cheating with my sister or any woman, my heart will be broken. I hope I'm wrong about this. If I am, I will apologize and marry him because that's all I want. It's all set. All set. The wedding's the all wedding, set. Yes. We you got a day? July 9th. 2014, our venue picked out our wedding song, Charlie Wilson, You Are. And if he's cheating, <laughs> I'm done with his ass. I'm done. You have three kids together. Three beautiful kids together. You really think that he's having sex with your sister? I don't know what to believe, Murray. My brother says that he caught them, but they say that they are. I don't know what to believe. What did he tell you? He told me they were home sleep, and he said, that he ended up falling asleep and slipped into her lap and fell asleep. I don't believe that. Not for nothing in the world. Roland said he saw something else, too, didn't he? He saw them at the grocery store, hugged up, holding hands and everything. In aisle six. In aisle six. In aisle six. And what did you see on aisle six? Oh, I was, so I go to the grocery store and I see them in aisle six holding hands and kissing and it wasn't, but it just, you're lying, it never happened. But it, but it just wasn't any kiss. They were tonguing each other and they were... You're lying, you're lying. that never happened. You're lying. Guess what? Because of those kinds of accusations, not only did we give Shavari a lie detector test, we gave Roland a lie detector test. <laughs> you also think he might be making it with other women, like because of a website. What happened on the website? He exposed his to them. Here's your intended, Shivari. Shivari, come on out. He didn't see you, did he? No, he didn't, man. He don't even like me, Maury. He doesn't like, like you. No, nah, he don't. I think he put stuff in her head. Nah. Talking about sleeping with her sister. Nah. Come on, that's nah. a whole nah. sister. I would never blasted. cross that line. Showing your private parts on a dating website to someone? Never. I don't even send yes. pictures like that. We're going to find out right now because we're going to bring Kurtia out here. Kurtia. Sister relationship. 
Tia. Nice to see you. Is she hallucinating? Yes, she is. I'm not messing with her boyfriend. I love her too much to do her like that. I love him like I love her and my brothers and sisters. I love him. The devil I love why, all of Why them. do you think she's got this in her mind? I don't know, maybe because we close, but I'm close with all my male cousins. How about brothers. Roland seeing you in the... How about your brother? He is a liar. I'm saying you it. You know, you, you, know you, you, you know what you did. 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 Stop lying. We Same have... a sister relationship. Uh, uh, we have lie detector tests, not only with Shivari, but with Mark. Roland as well. Yeah. Look at me. I'm not yeah. having any man on, that I want. I'm not having any man that I want. What would I come with? Come That's not what the you said. You didn't believe him. You didn't believe him. I'm, like, I'm seeing what I see with my eyes. You had him. Here is Shivari's lie detector test results. <laughs> you were asked if you have sexual intercourse with another woman the day you claim you had a family emergency had to go to your family member's house. You said no. The lie detector test determined... Who's lying to Rolanda? Is it her brother? I don't know what to believe, Marty. Or is it her sister? The lie detector test determined... <laughs> the whole truth comes out next. <laughs> An hour of people trying to run away from the truth continues. Three beautiful children together. The worst part about this is I think he's cheating with my sister, Tortilla. My brother, Roland, caught them cuddling on my couch. If this lie detector determined that Shabari has been cheating with my sister or any woman, my heart will be broken. What did you see on aisle six? And I see them in aisle six holding hands and kissing, and it wasn't... Uh, Stuff in her head. Uh, Tell her I'm sleeping with her sister. I'm not messing with her boyfriend. I love her too much to do her like that. We have lie detector tests, not only with Shivari, but with Mark. Roland as well. Trust Here me. is Shivari's lie detector test results. <laughs> you were asked if you have sexual intercourse with another woman the day you claim you had a family emergency. You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> You were asked, did Roland catch you and Kritia on the couch oh, cuddling right here, and at the grocery store kissing? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Hey, you were asked, have you ever had any sexual contact of any kind with Curtia? You said no. The lie detector test determined... You're telling the truth. You're telling the truth. Okay. I'm going to apologize. Thank you. Because at the end of the day, I'm a woman, and I'm going to apologize. Thank you. Because you're my sister. Okay. Have you ever had any sexual contact of any kind with any other woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Thank you. Thank you. Here's Roland's lie detector test. Yeah. You were asked, did you see Cortia and Shivari holding hands and kissing at the grocery store? You said yes. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh, oh, no. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I get an apology? Can I get an you apology? You ain't got nothing else to say to me. Why you put me in there? No. I swear to God. I you know what y'all did. did. You know what y'all did. did. You know what y'all did. You know what y'all did. You know what y'all did. You good as gold. You know we, have have the the we have the final. We have the final say here. Wow. Yes, boy. Wow. Shavari, he passed with flying colors. Passed with flying colors. Yep. Thank you. Christian already confessed one shocking secret. Because I probably felt scared. That's why. Scared? Yeah. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs>
A lie detector test is about to reveal more than Jasmine ever imagined. I can't do this! I can't do this! Are you kidding me right now? An hour of people trying to run away from the truth continues. Guess what? Jasmine and Christian now are very much on again, but she wants Christian to take the lie detector That's test right. this time. I believe he was with somebody. And you know Wait. how I know more? Because I gave Christian two condoms. Those condoms are missing. Those condoms are missing. Good to see you. Now I'm giving you an opportunity. I did, and honestly, Maury... You were with somebody! You somebody! He needs to be a man! You came for this, Jasmine, That's now right. we have it. We have the lie detector Let's results. Get it. Here we go. Get it. Get it. You're asked during your relationship with Jasmine, have you had sexual intercourse with another woman who you met on a dating site? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> Down. Christian, Don't you were asked that you have sexual me. intercourse done. with the I'm woman done. who lives in your apartment. Done. Don't you said that. no. The lie detector determined that was a, a lie. lie. I can't do this. You were asked in your relationship with Jasmine. Have you secretly met up with your ex in a motel to have sexual intercourse? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh, oh my God. Seen her why? Time. Ain't no more than that. You know what, Maury? Jasmine, you, you know what? Him. You love him. You know what? I do love him. You have a but child let me say together. something. Every woman out there, do not ever settle for less. Thank you, Maury. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was a lot. Roland was just exposed, telling a shocking lie to his whole family. The drama continues backstage. Let's not fight. I wasn't on hit. Okay, but come here. Can Roland's sisters ever forgive him? This guy stop. Yes. Okay, this that's my like sister. You my brother. This you is my fiance. We gonna be married whether, whether you anything. like it or not. An hour of people trying to run away from the truth continues. Earlier, Rolanda had one very good reason to believe her fiance, Shivari, was having an affair with her sister, Curtia. The reason? They were tonguing each other and they were. Her brother Roland said he saw Shivari making out with Curtia in the grocery store. In aisle six! In aisle six! In aisle six! This whole family was torn apart by the situation. You lie, you lie. I don't know what to believe, Murray. I don't know what to believe. The lie detector test results determine Shivari has never cheated. <laughs> and that Rolanda's brother was lying about what he saw in the grocery store. Thank you. Backstage after the show. Let's not fight. I wasn't going to hit him. Okay, but come here. Executive producer Paul Fallhaber tried to see if there was any way to heal the rift in this family. This got to stop. Yes, okay, just because that's my like sister. You my brother. This you is my fiance. We gonna get married whether you like it or not. I apologize. I was wrong. I, I shouldn't have. I was trying to jeopardize you guys' relationship. Was it right? No. I don't know. I've been dealing with this for six months. Been accused of sleeping with her. And... But you know what? Forgiveness. Just, I'm trying to be the little big brother and protect my sister. And you know, I didn't think you were treating her right. And Safari, I apologize. Forgiveness. Like, no. if I could forgive him for him mm -hmm. saying that about me, mm -hmm. you could forgive him, too. Because he gonna be my brother yeah. regardless my of anything. Yeah. Things don't have to be perfect, but it's a step in the right direction. We sincerely hope this family can come together moving forward, and we wish them the best of luck. I apologize. I'm sorry. I want to thank all of my guests for joining me today. I want to thank everybody who watches The Mari Show every day. I want to thank my live studio audience.
Today on Mara, Jolisa wants Clarence to start acting like a father. You uh, have to take care yeah, of my yeah, father! Yeah. Her new husband is here, and he wants Clarence to start acting like a father. He's not a man. Yeah. Step up. Oh, yeah. Let's bring him up, man. The situation with these three is coming to a head today. She called me. She called me. And the DNA results are in. Is Clarence the father of this baby or not? Clarence. <laughs> Tony doesn't believe he's the father of Shannon's two children for one reason. They don't have his feet. Yeah. I can play video games with my feet. These kids don't have my feet. His new girlfriend is just adding fuel to this fiery situation. Oh, wait, it's not the he says it's about the two feet. I know oh, yeah, I want to hear about the feet. Like my kids got my feet. But what will it be about after the two DNA results? Tony. Don't with me right now, Tony. All of that drama and much, much more. She says that her son is denied for one reason. Cecil's twin sister, Cecile. Not his baby! These two women are coming head to head today. You know you're lying! But will the DNA test prove his twin sister completely wrong? You're tearing this family apart. We're completely right. Cecil. DNA results and shocking drama next. Everyone, this is Raven. Welcome Raven to the show. This is what Raven says. Her life with this man, Cecil, has played out like a fairy tale. You know, they fell in love when she was just 15. And Cecil, Aww. Cecil was an incredible father to their first daughter, Anaya. But now, Raven also says, you know, all fairy tales have a villain. And in this case, the villain is Cecil's twin sister, Cecile. <laughs> Raven claims that Cecil's twin has brainwashed him into believing that Raven's 10-month-old son, baby Cecil Jr., <laughs> look at him, is not his child. Now, take a look. This is what Cecil and his twin sister Cecile have to say. I feel like I'm being pulled in two different directions. I want to believe Raven, but she's constantly lying to my face. My twin sister is my blood. Her words have meaning to me. Raven is nothing but a two-bit dirty liar. And I'd be damned if I let that thing destroy my brother's life. Me and Raven was a perfect couple. We did everything together. I love my daughter, Renaya, and I know that that's my child. But when my twin sister told me that baby Cecil was not married, I knew that I needed a DNA test. You mess with him, and you mess with me. Understand that. If this is my child, I want my sister Cecile to apologize to my girl so we can be a family again. But if baby Cecil is not my child, I want my name back. Whoa. Now, what do you think of what she has to say? I think that's wrong what she's doing. It's that's true. It's true. Cecil is caught in the middle because he's great with your daughter, isn't he? Yes. yes. And what does he do with Cecil Jr.? He don't do nothing for him. He's 10 months. He never did nothing for him. Nothing? <laughs> because he's he believing it. He's believing his evil twin sister that this baby you, Cecil is not his you baby. Think, you think Cecil looks like Cecil? Yes, I do. Not his baby! I <laughs> Big Cecil's features. Right. Now, let's get this straight. I, I, I got another. You in love with Cecil? Yes, I am. You want to be with Cecil? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Has he told you that if you prove that it's his child, he'll you all be, get together, be yes. back together? Uh -huh. And what happens if it's not his child? What did he say? He said he wants his name back. He wants his name back. Yes. <laughs> now, here's the thing. That little baby fought for his life, didn't he? Oh, yes, he did. When he was born, he wasn't breathing. He had to go to the intensive care NICU. 
It was in the hospital for a whole month, and none of his family members came to see him when he was born or when he was in the hospital. And I'm crying to take care of your own baby! <laughs> Why do, you, why do you think she wants to break up this family? Because she wants he sees her to be with her best friend. Oh. He's a better woman than you can ever be. So Cecil's backstage. We're going to meet him. In a, but, you know, I want to bring Cecile out here. Here's Cecile. Bring her out. Bring her out. Bring her out. Bring her out. You're lying. You're lying. You know you're lying. You have your help. My brother's life. My is not his baby. Why are you so upset here? You're tearing this family apart. Because ever since I met this girl, all she has done is lie to us. No, really? I have I'm no, not going to let not. her come no, between me and my twin brother under no circumstances. That baby is ugly. That is not. <laughs> Like he, he, he looks nothing like, like, like us, Maury. He looks like Maury. Maury, you're another thing. I'm fat. This is thick. <laughs> what is she talking about? <laughs> this is thick. What has that got to do with anything? She says I'm jealous of her. Jealous of what? Cecil is his Baby son. Cecil's not his baby. Yes, so when is. the test results come see. back, we're going to see. And you're going to feel not, stupid. No, I'm and not. You not no, I'm not. Yes. Are you in the middle here? Yes, Maury, I'm caught between. Boy, yeah. That's tough, huh? You love your sister? Yes. Do you love Raven? Yes. Oh, boy, wow. And you sitting up here letting her... He don't know what love is. If he loves that, he don't know what love is. You wrong. I made him for you. You wrong. You want to be the father of yes, Cecil, do. don't you? Yes, I do. You was wrong. It's well, not going to work. work. This your twin, but she's wise, it's not going to work. I have mixed feelings, okay? I want to believe Raven. Right. But at the same time, this is my twin sister. This is my other half. Right. Not only her, you know, is saying this. You know, it's it's a couple other people, people that are saying this. You know right. what I'm saying? By the way, you know, we were sticking in water, more. Right. You know? I understand that. Well, you know, we we thought that Raven would take a uh, lie detector test today to prove a lot of things, but you didn't want to do that. Of course not. She's a liar. Well, I'm not a liar. liar. By the way, I congratulate you on being a great father to your daughter. Yes. It's very difficult, Cecil. Very difficult to see that little boy in that house. You go to your daughter, but you won't go to him. That's why I'm here today. I need to know the test results. Well, so do so, I. So okay, because we're going to find out. Let's get this straight. If you're the father, you all are going to be together as a family. If, 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 and Cecile is going to butt out. I'm not going to let is it that happen. Right? She's, if, if that's my son, son. she's going to apologize to her. And I'm going to apologize. <laughs> when it comes to 10-month-old baby Cecil, Cecil, you are the father.
sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. Okay? Too, too sorry. Tony doesn't believe he's the father of Shannon's two children for one reason. They don't have his feet. Yeah. I can play video games with my feet. These kids don't have my feet. His new girlfriend is just adding fuel to this fiery situation. Oh, wait, it's not so he says it's about the two feet. I know oh, yeah, I want to hear about the feet. Like my kids got my feet. But what will it be about after the two DNA results? Tony. <laughs> Don't me right now, Tony. DNA results and shocking drama. Next. Everyone, this is Shannon. Welcome, Shannon, to the show. Now, one year ago, Shannon made the horrifying discovery that her boyfriend of four years, Tony, was using his job at a fast food restaurant to have sex with other women. Now, you see, you know, that may be bad enough, but Shannon and Tony have two children together. Three-year-old Thomas, two-year-old Justice. After she found out that he was cheating, Shannon kicked Tony out. But Tony is now living with his new girlfriend, Tina. Deny Shannon's two sons. And the main reason that Tony gives for denying these kids is that they don't have his feet. Right. I know these kids ain't mine. They don't even got my feet. Let me tell you something about my feet that these kids don't have. I got a real short, stubby big toe, and I got long, finger-like toes. I can play video games with my feet. These kids don't have my feet. It doesn't fit the picture. Tony and I have a family, and I am not going to let Shannon ruin it with her lies. I know for sure Tony's the father of my baby. I don't need a DNA test for this baby, because Shannon's the love of my life. And Shannon, you was just a mistake. Shannon is a nasty slut. I am glad that Tony is finally seeing it. When the DNA test comes back that shows these kids ain't mine, I'm going to focus on what's really important, my life with Shannon. I don't know why this girl is here. My kids don't concern her. She should be home taking care of the baby. They got to get the baby. Hear what she's saying. You're the slut, Shannon. <laughs> why don't you get your baby tested? Oh, Bitch, I don't need baby you. By the way, Shannon. I don't Shannon, need to get my baby tested. Don't my you baby's not in the home. Don't you claim that? Tony cheated on her with you? Yes, he yeah, did. Right, yes, bitch. he did. More than and once. And guess what? We just More happen to take a lie detector test to find that out. <laughs> Both of you guys are I want to get back to this big issue about the feet. <laughs> look, look. Yes, OK. You see this? You see this? This Wait a second. Is this guy can play. This toe, not so exactly like his, but he's got the feet. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the feet. <laughs> Do you see that? I mean, can you see that? That is ridiculous. Are you kidding me? See? I blame most of it on Shana. He never denied the kids. I mean, he had his doubts about Thomas, but he never denied my kids till he got with that girl. If you wasn't such a slut, he wouldn't he deny her. You think the kids favor him? Yes, I do. Look at Tom Tom. Justice. Tom, Tom Tom's on the left? Yeah. Look at this. Look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. Look at that. Why do I, I have a, why do I have a feeling? I just have a I have a feeling, Shannon, that you still have feelings for Tony. I will always love Tony, but I am not in love with Tony. I could never I can never be with somebody that will treat their kids the way he does. Your kids should be your first priority in life. You should be your kids. Be your kids. All right. Your children.
Here they are, Tony and Shayna. Here they are. You're caught in the middle here. I feel that I'm caught in the middle often. I mean, the, my biggest concern right now is that is not her natural hair color. Her natural hair color this right is. Here? is this right here. She, she dyes her hair. She dyes her hair. She dyes, she dyes, she dyes it. That's natural. Hair. And JJ's got red hair oh, on the. I mean, it's, 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 it's strawberry blonde, blonde in, in the light. You want to go get the hair? And Justin? JJ's feet don't look nothing like mine. I know oh, you don't want to hear about the feet. this right now, this lie detector. We asked you while Tony was in a relationship with Shayna, has he ever tried, tried to have sexual intercourse with you? You said yes, the lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. We asked you, Shannon, while Tony was in a relationship with Shayna, have you ever had sexual intercourse with him? You said yes. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. That is. Look, look, hold on, y'all. Look, look. She don't even hear. know the date that me and her got together. Tony, forget no. about that. I'm more interested in these kids. That's what I'm here for. I mean, that's what I came here for. Really? Tony, really? Tony, do you love those kids? Yeah, I love them. I kids. read where you want to be these kids. I do want to be their dad, but it breaks my heart because her hair, that's not her natural hair color. Yeah. You want to go get the hair, Justin? In the case of three-year-old Thomas. That's Thomas. Aww. Tony, you are the father. I know who my baby daddy is. In the case of two-year-old Justice, Tony, you are the father. I know you'll take care of it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Jolisa wants Clarence to start acting like a father. You have to take care yeah, of my yeah, yeah. Her new husband is here, and he wants Clarence to start acting like a father. He's not a man. Yeah. Step up. Right. Let's bring him out, man. The situation with these three is coming to a head today. She called me. She called me. And the DNA results are in. Is Clarence the father of this baby or not? Clarence. <laughs> DNA results and shocking drama. Next. You know, as we've learned over the years here, a lot of men try to run from their responsibility of being a parent. So it's refreshing to meet a man. Everybody, welcome Oscar to the show. <laughs> and please welcome Oscar's wife, Jolisa, to the show. You see, Jolisa's ex-boyfriend, Clarence, denies that he's the father of her now five-month-old daughter, Grace. But you see, thankfully for Jolisa, she met and fell in love with Oscar when she was six months pregnant. Yeah. Then, then after that, they got married. Yeah. And it's Oscar who raises baby Gracie. 
as his own. But even though Oscar raises Gracie as his own, he deeply believes that it's Clarence's duty to step up and get involved in his daughter's life. Y'all got it twisted, man. Y'all got it twisted. Y'all got it twisted. Clarence, however, feels completely different. Watch. I know I'm not that kid's father. Me and Jolisa weren't even having sex at that time. And Jolisa is not the type of mother I would ever want for my kids. Listen up, homeboy. Your girl is not who you think she is. Oscar is a total pushover, and Jalisa, she got this man wrapped around her little finger. You cannot turn a hoe into a housewife. Really? Wow. That's how you feel? That's how you That's feel? How you feel? That's not your daughter? You That's not... Face. She look just oh, like no. you! My Thank baby you. godfather! Come on, you ain't nothing! Don't worry about it. Nothing! Don't worry about it. 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 You are the father. You uh, about to take care yeah, of my yeah, daughter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. My, dad had a birthday. my dad had a great saying. A don't man mean nothing. can make a child. You know, but he's not a man. Because you make a child and you run from your responsibility. Oh, that's not a man. That's a dog. That's a dog. Hey, 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 nah. I got three kids that I'm taking, four kids that I'm taking care of. Two I made myself. Two I did not make. You understand what I'm saying? Because my father raised me to be a true man. He raised me to be a true man. What are we doing? Lisa, she was pregnant. Let me talk. And she told me how he treated her coming over just on the weekend. You know, you she was a booty call. Weekend. That's not a man. That's a yo, yo, so yo, yo, hold on. She was a booty oh, call. You got better potential. Hold than on, booty Maury. Call. This man only bought one pack of diapers for my baby, After and then six called him and said, "Oh, I did something for my baby, and she's about to be six months old." You know what he old. said? He said. You don't take care of that. Child. First of all, Oscar take care something. of this baby more than he would ever. Every, more every than he would ever. He was all the he trips was to the hospital. When I, gave her. I was there. Where was you? I was there. I was now, the wrong wrong with all the you. doctor's office appointments. I'm you there. You ain't no man. When she's up, when she's up in the middle of the night crying, I'm the one there. When you get, when you read those. For him to step up. Let's bring him on. Let's bring him on. Bring him on. She also says she's pulling the wool over. Jolisa, you know you want some of daddy. Daddy what? You ain't nothing. And it wasn't good to the beginning. Everybody, here's Clarence. Clarence, come on out. Here's Clarence. Whatever. 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 From where Stop. we from, yep. saying that I'm not the father. Because he really? signed I'm the birth certificate, Wait, you want that deal? Nah, nah, nah. You want that deal? You want that deal? Ain't nothing like Jolisa, that. Jolisa, calm down. Somebody else said, already... I'm man, what happened? My turn. turn. My turn. Hey, shut up, man. Shut up. You have to. Shut up. Hey, shut up. If you're the father. If you're the father, if you're the father, you would get into Gracie's life, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'll get into baby's life. Boy, That's can it. I tell Just the baby. Lee. Just the baby. I don't know why. I Just don't know baby. why he trying to let him tell you what he said to me when we went out for the DNA test. That baby's bald headed and she's too light to be his daughter. Too light. You I got two know, other. Baby, I got two other light kids. My baby did nothing to him. She didn't no, do nothing to him. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say daughter. nothing like that. My, my other two children. My she other two children is lighter than her. I got a dark skin baby mom. They lighter than her. Okay. You wanted to tell Oscar something, didn't you? Oscar, I told the Oscar all the time. He already knows that what type of girl she My is. My man, you know, I'm going to tell you this. Hold on, you already, tell you you already know. Just you so already know. I want the audience to understand this one. Everything that you lie about me and my lie. wife, you're gonna, lie. you're done. Lie. You're done getting lie. into listen. Come on, how many times? How many lie. times were we lie. argue because she called me? Because you're me. Come but on, you man. Know what? She didn't tell me. All the time, she called me. 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 She told 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 me. Bye.
You say the results. You you say the results. Clarence, when it comes to five month old Gracie, you are the five. <laughs> The drama's nowhere near over as things escalate backstage. Leslie was 17 when she thought she found love with Ricky on the internet. He tricked you? He tricked me completely. And now he completely denies being the father of her baby. You think it's funny? I was 17 years old! Boy, you're mad. Yeah, she's crazy. She says she's crazy when it comes to her baby. But is Ricky the father? Ricky! DNA results and shocking drama, next. Everyone, this is Leslie. Welcome, Leslie. That's it. I'm 100% right for this. Get it going. How many times have you all heard me say this? You date over the internet, it is a recipe for disaster. Yeah. Exactly, a disaster. Nothing but a disaster, and it's come to an end. When Leslie was 17 years old, she was seduced online exactly. by a 23-year-old man named Ricky. Yeah. Now, so much so, so much so she was seduced that guess what? She left her own home, packed her bags, and blindly, without even meeting him, moved across the country to be. But then, all of a sudden, everything that he said was going to happen just didn't happen. Oh. It was a lie. Ricky wasn't 23 the way he said. He was 31. Oh. Yes, exactly. He didn't have his own house. He was living with his parents. Oh. Exactly. Sick of it. Got something. Got something. Believe then, of that. course, Believe that. Leslie gets pregnant. Oh. And then Ricky abandons her and her two-year-old daughter. He tricked you? Yes, he tricked me completely more. I met him on the online dating service, and he told me he was 23 years old. And he's really 31. Can you believe that? What kind of real man does something like that? That's what I want to know. And he gave you an STD? And he gave me an STD. I'm the one that slept on the floor. This is what Ricky has. Nothing but a fake. Leslie is an unpredictable girl, so I'm not going to try to predict who her baby's dad is. Leslie and I talked on the internet for just a few months. Then she hopped on a bus and came to live with me. A month later, she pops up pregnant. There's no way I got her pregnant that fast. A few months later, she left in the middle of the day while I was at work. If Leslie knew that baby was mine, why would she leave? Someone on Facebook told me the baby belonged to someone else. They also said another guy was paying child support. I'm confident today that I'm going to be able to get rid of Leslie. She's crazy, and I know I'm not that baby's dad. Okay, everybody, here's Rick. Rick is Boy, you're mad. I'm extremely mad. Okay, well, just calm down. I'm I want to talk to Ricky. Ricky, she's so. crazy? Yeah, she's crazy. Oh, she's I'm crazy, crazy when it comes to my baby. Real crazy. I'm crazy as heck when it comes to my baby. I'll go crazy on anyone when it comes to my baby. Wait a second, wait a I'm second, crazy. wait a second. Do you deny that girl? You deny that little girl? Yeah. The kind I mean, of she girl she has to help her. Does that girl look like you? Yeah. Yeah. Sure does! Exactly like him. Identical. You can't deny that kid. Let me tell you something. You can't deny that. Yeah, get to the results. I need those. For my money. I want my money. I want my money. My baby's 
work on it's been Leslie. too long. Leslie, oh. are all, is all you're worried about is the money? No, and, no, I'm telling you something. It takes Leslie a lot to support one baby. And make, nobody says that. Clothes, diapers, shoes, everything. And they're just baby needs. Of course, it's a, of course, it's a lot money of money. For, um, for that baby? If it wasn't for my, uh, my family, this baby would have nothing, nothing. Who else are you getting money from for that baby? What other guy? What other guy? Him. When it comes to two-year-old Elena, Ricky, you are the father. Crystal finally agreed to have sex with her high school sweetheart and then was dumped the next day. Yes, he did, and it hurts. Now her baby is denied by Ryan and his mother. We don't even know. It's a DNA test for the ages. Is Ryan the father? Ryan. Mari was brought to you in part by the DNA results and shocking drama. Next. Everyone, this is Crystal. Welcome, Crystal. When Crystal met Ryan, they were just kids, but she instantly fell in love. Crystal says for five years, Ryan begged her to have sex with him. Five years. She said she wasn't ready. Then finally, after five years, Crystal gave in. And guess what? The next day, Ryan turned his back on her. And of course, the shocking outcome of that night of passion is not only did Crystal get pregnant with her now five-month-old son, Cameron. <laughs> look at that. Look at that smile. Ryan and his mother, Kathy, completely denied that Ryan's the I am sick and tired of having to convince Ryan and his mother that he is the father. Ryan and I were teenage sweethearts. As soon as our relationship became sexual, everything changed. When I told Ryan that I was pregnant, Ryan looked confused. But his mother, Kathy, couldn't shut up about saying that Ryan wasn't the father of my child. His mother is a lowlife who lets him run away from his responsibilities. And after today, I won't have anything to prove. There you go. After all of this, trying to come on to you and everything else and be your boyfriend, you say he used you. Yes, he did. And it hurts. Do you love Ryan now? No, I do not. He is a robot. He doesn't do anything with his life. What you say? We don't want to believe it. Here's Ryan and his mother, Kathy. Here they are. Crystal, sit down here. How come you kept changing the due dates? You said the doctors kept changing the due dates. They don't because do that. Because my doctor sucked at being a doctor. That's oh, why God. I changed. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, wait a second. What's the story about the big toe? Let me hear about this. All Every... the boys on yes. the father's side of the family all yes. have an extra big toe. An extra big toe. Yeah, extra I know big. it's a little bigger than normal. Yes. Oh, it's than normal. Yeah. And normal. that baby's toe isn't big. No. no. Well, guess what? We're going to find that out. I would say what? that if this is your grandchild, you'd be in that child's life, would oh, you? Oh, yes, like I am my and other you, grandchild. And you would too, Ryan, right? Yes, okay. I will accept it. But you don't have any feelings for Crystal anymore, right? No. Not, no feelings I for don't Crystal. have any feelings for you either. Well, obviously, that's the only thing you can agree on. Neither one of you have feelings for each other, that's all. <sighs> in the 
the case of five-month-old Campbell, Ryan. It's a DNA test for the ages. Is Ryan the father? Ryan. <laughs> you are the father. Jolisa and her new husband proved that Clarence is her baby's father. That's not my kid. That's not my kid. The drama's nowhere near over. <laughs> as things escalate backstage. Oh, 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 oh. Mark was brought to you in part by DNA results and shocking drama. Next. I am sick and tired of having to convince Ryan and his mother that he is the father. When I told Ryan that I was pregnant, Ryan looked confused. But his mother, Kathy, couldn't shut up about saying that Ryan wasn't the father of my child. His mother is a low wife who lets him run away from his responsibilities. And after today, I won't have anything to prove. You're the father of that child? No. You think he's the father of that child? How can you deny that he has your forehead? What's the story about the big toe? Let me hear about this. And all the boys on yes. the father's side of the family all yes. have an extra big toe. And that baby's toe isn't big? No. No. Case of five month old Cameron. Ryan, you are not. I told you! 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 No, you won't! No, you won't! No! I don't! I don't! I don't! I don't! I we're glad to find out if you are We're glad to test anybody you want, okay? He's not the father. Okay. Okay. All right. He's right. And yes. you know it. Well, now she knows the truth. We know the truth. And we don't even have to contact her anymore. You are the father. Jolisa and her new husband proved that Clarence is her baby's father. That's not my kid. That's not my kid. The drama's nowhere near over. As things escalate backstage. For more information on DNA paternity testing, call DNA Diagnostic Center at 1 877 DNA Center. DNA results and shocking drama. Next. Earlier, Jolisa came to the show because she wanted Clarence to stop denying he's the father of a baby daughter named Gracie. You uh, have to take care yeah, of my yeah, daughter! Yeah, yeah. And she was here with her new husband, Oscar, who also wanted Clarence to start acting like a father. He's not a man. Step up. Let's bring him up. Let's bring up. When Clarence came out, things became heated. She called me. She called me. She had to. And when the DNA results came out, no one was prepared for what happened next. Clarence, you are the father. That's not my kid. That's not my kid. You did that, my baby. That's not my kid. Why would you do that to my baby? You have to me. Keep me. me. Security escorted Clarence away from the scene. And Jolisa remained extremely upset. Calm down now. Okay. All right? Yes. Okay. That's what we you need. Came here. Right. You came here. Well, to Maury, prove I don't know why you was denied her the first one. This is horrible. Don't worry about it, baby. Don't worry about it. I'm not father. Thank you, Marty. I'm the father. Thank she you. don't need Clarence. Okay. She do not need him at all. Okay. We sincerely hope everyone is able to work out their differences for the sake of baby Gracie. Until next time, America.
the drama on Mari. No one can hide from the results. It might be the most shocking hour of paternity drama this year. You wanna f go, Bubba? Kaylin's here to prove to her ex-boyfriend Dustin that he's the father of her son. That baby's not yours, Dustin. He's not yours. But Dustin claims the father is one of these two men, Justin or Derek. You're not his father, and you're not his father, so I don't even know why you're sitting here. Three men tested, and the results completely shocked everyone. But what happens after the show might be the most shocking part of all. Go, come on! You wanna go? Oh, Dustin! Ashley admits she cheated on Jerome with his best friend Darcy. Yeah, I made a mistake, yes. But you're sure Darcy is not the father? I'm positive Darcy ain't the father. But in a shocking twist, they're still best friends. For us, it's M-O-B, money over. And they both deny being her baby's father. Two best friends tested. Who's the father? Jerome, Darcy. <laughs> Plus, his wife swears he's the father of their two kids. His sister swears he's not. She says that I'm a whore. She is a whore. And Ronald believes his sister over his wife. You should have married her and not me. You want the ring? You want it? You want to marry him? Two DNA tests. Is Ronald the father? Ronald. Ronald. Incredible, inconceivable paternity results. Next. Everyone, this is Kaylin. Welcome, Kaylin, to the show. <laughs> now, Kaylin is dead set on proving to her ex boyfriend, Dustin, that he's the father of her 11 month old son, Julian. <laughs> now, if Kaylin had her way, there would be only one chair other than hers on this set. Yeah. <laughs> but guess what? It's the guy who thinks it could be somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> because Dustin is pointing the finger at two other men. <laughs> Derek and Justin, who happen to be best friends. <laughs> Kaylin promises that the DS are gonna reveal that Dustin, not Justin, not Derek, is the father of her son. Watch. I cannot be more positive that my ex, Dustin, is the father of my son, Julian. Dustin is convinced that some other guy, Derek, or his friend, Justin, are the father of my son, but they're not, so they shouldn't even be here today. It is impossible for Derek to be my son's father. Yes, I slept with him, but that was way before I started dating Dustin. And Justin, I was with him before I was even with Derek. It's scientifically impossible for him to be my son's father. Dustin is his father. Dustin said that Julian looks nothing like him, but that is not true. Yes, my son does look just like me, but he has the exact same head as Dustin, and everybody can see it. And Dustin is going to feel like a moron when he finds out that he is my son's father. What you're saying is, though, that it's not that you never slept with Derek no, or... No, I slept with them. You slept with both I of them? I slept with both the of them. The other guy. Yep. Okay. I sure did. Right, uh, it was a way before Dustin ever came in the way picture. Be way before you got pregnant? Yep. Way before. In yep. fact, you were with Justin and Derek before you were with Dustin, Yeah, right? before I knew Dustin. Do you want to get back with Dustin? No. No? Mm -hmm. You've moved on? I, I, I care about him. Was he there when the baby was born? No, he wasn't around when, when Julian was born. But he did sign the paternity papers. He signed oh, he everything. He's on his birth certificate. Right. Julian carries his last name. Does he go around telling everybody it's not his son? He, up until the past two months, never said it to me. Never said at once that Julian wasn't his. He told other people, apparently, they would come to me and say, oh, Dustin says he's not his. Dustin says he belongs to Derek. But Dustin never said that. I was with him. He what never told me What else does he say that. about your son that bothers you? He called my son fat and ugly. Told, told me my son would, could rot in hell. So we know about Dustin for a second. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your relationship with Derek. Or no, let's talk about Justin. Because he was the first person you were with. I lost my virginity to Justin. Really? Yeah. And then you moved on to his friend Derek? His friend Derek, yep. Yeah. You I met his friend Derek, and just things happened. Messed around for a few months. Okay. Here's what Dustin had to say. My ex-girlfriend, Kaylin's pissing me off because she's swearing I'm the father of her son, Julian, and I'm not. 
there are two other guys, Derek and Justin, that I know could be the father of her baby. Kaylin has convinced me up until recently that I definitely was the father. She promised me she didn't sleep with Derek or Justin around the time she got pregnant. Derek said himself that Kaylin even said he was the dad. Kaylin denied ever saying this, but she's a pathological liar and can't be trusted. Julian looks nothing like me at all. I think he looks just like Derek. I know Justin and Derek are hoping they're not the father, but I have a feeling it's one of them and not me. All right, here he is, Dustin. Dustin, come on out. He looks like you? He's no. not yours. No. You just said that he's not yours. Have a seat, Dustin. Every day it fluctuates. <laughs> Do you believe she was pregnant with your child? At the time I did. Why did you change your mind? Because of all the stuff I was hearing about it. Well, because why? other people told you, but in your heart you always believe that he well, was wait yours. Wait a minute though, Kaylin. Did you ever tell him no. he might not be the father? No, yes, I never did. I never told them that it, he was not Do his father. Do you know what that does to a man when you say yeah, that? Yeah, sure. Do you think it could be Derek? I think it's a possibility. Derek's his father? Yeah. Derek's his father? Possibility. It's a possibility or is he? See, t today it's a, it's, it's a possibility. But every other day, he's not yours. It's a possibility. You've told me several times. He's your son! You, you were there for how long? Uh, then how long? You told me it was how his long? baby. you live with me? Am I pregnant again with your baby? I don't know, are you? It's your daughter. Now, now you're going to say this baby's not yours, too. Are you pregnant again with his baby? Yeah. His baby? <laughs> I don't get this, Dustin. Are we going to be here? No. 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 It's his baby. He can't no. say it. I will not, I will not do this for, to this little girl. All right, here are the other two guys. Justin and Derek. This is what they had to say. When Kaylin told me she was pregnant and told me I could possibly be the father, I just blew it off because I knew she was sleeping with me, Justin, and Dustin. Before Kaylin had the baby, she said it could be mine. And then she had the baby, and then it looks nothing like me, so she changed her mind. Kaylin is a hoe. She was just a booty call, and she knew it. We don't even really like each other. The baby doesn't look anything like me or Justin. Kaylin was with me first, then Derek, and then Dustin. So everything just don't add up to me. The baby looks just like her mama. The baby's cute, but she's definitely not. Out of the three of us that she tested, I think the kid looks like Dustin the most. I think it's Dustin's son, but you never know. It could be anybody's. I'm praying I'm not the father of Kaylin's kid, because I want nothing to do with her. Okay, here are the next two, Derek and Justin. Here they are. Does my brother know you talk about me like that? They're my brother's best friends, and you're gonna talk about me like that. I'm a hoe. You're not his father, and you're not his father, so I don't even know why you're sitting here. I don't know why you're saying I told you that. I ain't never told you that. What, what happens? And you said what? Oh, well, if he's my baby, then it's just gonna be that. Oh, he's my baby, because I'm not ready to be a father. Any of you think I was ready to be a mother? I just got out of high school. If you weren't ready to be a mother, and unfortunately you became a mother, why are you ready to be a mother again? Because he convinced me. He asked me to marry you. No, I did not. We're in love. No, I... You never asked him to marry you? No. Yo, no, oh I did God. not. Never. So, nope. Derek. Derek, are you the Ooh. father of this child? I nope. certainly hope not. Nope. I hope not. You are not his father. I do not want to deal with you for the next 18 years. I don't want to deal with you every day of my life. Like, come on now. Are you the father of this child? No. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> There's no you way. think it's Dustin's? I'm praying. Dustin is his father, and I don't know why anybody in the world would not want to be in that, son, that little boy's life. And I'm sure Derek and Justin, who look like they're deer caught in the headlights over there, <laughs> they would be in this child's life if they were the fathers. No, I would be. I, I would, would be. You told me just the end of My father wasn't my life. I'd be in your life. I'd be in that kid's life. It was mine. I don't want to be a father, but right, I'll, well I'll, then, I'll we'll be a see. father. We'll see. Let's do this. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to find out the truth right now. When it comes to 11-month-old Julian, Dustin, you are not the father.
owe it to yourself, and you owe it to your child, and you owe it to these other guys to find out who the father is. <laughs> when it comes to 11 month old Julian, Justin, you are not the father. <laughs> To 11 month old Julian, Derek, you are the father. <laughs> Derek, all I'm asking is that you be a father to this child. I know you were praying you wouldn't be, but you are. You do not want that little boy to grow up without a father. I do. And you are in shock, and I can understand. I'll do what I can. I'll do what I can. I'm not... I'm just not talking about money here, and I'm not talking about financial support. I'm talking about be a father. Be a father. In every way. We'll be back right after this. Three men tested, and the results were completely unexpected. Justin! But what happens after the show might be the most shocking part of all. Come on. You wanna go? Justin! His wife swears he's the father of their two kids. His sister swears he's not. She says that I'm a whore. She is a whore! And Ronald believes his sister over his wife. You should have married her and not me. You want the ring? You want it? You want to marry him? Two DNA tests. Is Ronald the father? Ronald! Ronald! Incredible, inconceivable paternity results. Dustin! Next. Everyone, this is Christina. Welcome Christina to the show. Now, Christina swears she has been faithful to her husband, Ronald, and there is no doubt that Ronald is the father of her two beautiful children, three-year-old Gabriel and one-year-old Noah. So what's the problem here? You see, Christina says it's Ronald's sister, Lucy. That's the problem. No. Christina says Lucy has been spreading vicious lies around town that Christina has been cheating and has convinced Ronald that Noah and Gabriel are not his children. Watch this. Ronald and I have been married for four years, and after all we have been through, he's denying our two children. Not only does he deny my kids, but he calls me a whore and he thinks I cheated on him. I have been 100% faithful. The worst part of this whole situation is that Ronald's sister is behind all of this. Lucy has the nerve to say that my kids don't look Mexican enough to be part of her family. How could she deny her own nephews? I can't take this pain anymore. I want my family back and I want Lucy to stop trying to destroy us. Has this been going on since these babies were born? Yeah. Do you love Ronald? With all my heart. Do you all live together now? Yes. Okay, so you're together. Yeah. And he goes around denying two kids. Yeah. What does she say to you? She says that I'm a whore. It's not my fault. She's a whore. No, she is a whore. I'm not she a whore. is a whore. That's if the way it goes. If you're you are a whore. That is, that's why she thinks that about me. Do they ever say the reasons, specific reasons, why these kids they aren't his? That they don't look they Mexican don't look enough to be in that family. Mexican. Oh, look at us, they don't look Mexican enough. You think your husband, your husband, this is not a guy you live with, this is not your fiancé, this is your husband, By believes his sister really? over you. Yeah, I'm Maury, saying. I do. Come and out, I think that if gone. he's going to continue it, he should have married her. Yeah! Yeah, I would have been a better wife than you. That's just it. Well, I would have been a better. This, this is what Ronald and his sister Lucy had to say. This situation is driving my whole family apart. I have so many doubts about these kids being mine that I can't even sleep at night. The doctors have told me that I can't have kids, so I'm convinced that these kids are not mine. I think Christina is just a hoe. She knows damn well that she was with one of her ex-boyfriends right before she was with my brother. 
Christina thinks that my sister has a lot to do with me denying the children. And you know what? I believe my sister. Christina wants to turn around and blame these kids on my brother. But there's no way in hell I'm going to allow that to happen. My sister has heard Christina on the phone with other men. I don't believe that these kids could even be mine because they don't even look like our family. But I'm a confident man, and I just don't want to be played. Okay, here they are, Ronald and his sister Lucy. <laughs> Now wait a second. Look, wait, 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 wait a don't second. Need to talk to I don't understand. You, you, oh, you want you want the ring? You want the ring? You want it? You want to marry him? You want to marry him? You want the ring? You want it? You want it? Be something that you do. We don't get down like that. Really? That's what all you guys are the Yeah, all you do is what? Ronald, you are married to this woman by mistake. You wait a second. But he, why? He took me. I took you. Yeah, you, you all live together. Well, yeah. You all live together? Yes, we do live together. And you treat each other this way? Every day. You, you live together and you treat each other? What are you going to do when you see somebody funny. sneaking out and texting? And she she slept at her baby's dad's house two out times and didn't even touch her. She's going to sneak out with her baby's dad's house. She's going to sneak out with her baby's dad's house. She slept with her baby's dad. Oh, yeah. All you ladies that are going to go sleep with your baby's dad while you're arguing is not going to do nothing. Lucy, Lucy, why are you stirring the pot? This is my brother. This is my family. Her she husband, wants to come into. Her she husband, wants to come into my family. Husband, this is my own. If these are your nephews, you're gonna love them and you're gonna treat them as your nephews. If they don't my need nephews, her. But I don't need her. Why would she? Her. Cheat on your brother. Why? Because she's a that's what she does. Because that's what she does. She can do it. 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 Give them the definition of what you are. No, give them the definition of what you are. I heard enough. Let's find out. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't understand. What kind of household is this yeah. when you're calling yeah. each other's names? Okay. You have two young kids Lord, in the house. Lord, if a shoe's a shoe, a hoe is a hoe. Oh, my And that's what that is. That's what she is. she said it makes me do. Are you going to change your tune if you're the father of these kids? I've been there not even knowing. I take care of them. I give them everything they need. I'm up when they're sick. These kids have changed my you life. You me and say, get up. They're oh, crying. That's right. What, what crying. happened when we split? They're and crying. I gave you all and my I money. All and I was, was in debt. I was in debt. And you were all tricking me. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Enough. Sit down. A little girl. A little girl. Wait, wait, wait. When it comes to three-year-old Gabriel, Ronald, you are the father. <laughs> When it comes to one-year-old Noah, Ronald, you are the father. I want to apologize. To the father, Ronald. To the father. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Ashley admits she cheated on Jerome with his best friend Darcy. Yes. But you're sure Darcy is not the father. I'm positive Darcy ain't the father. But in a shocking twist, they're still best friends. For us, it's M-O-B, money over. And they both deny being her baby's father. One baby and two best friends tested. Who's the father? Jerome, Darcy. Incredible, inconceivable paternity results. Dustin! Next. Everyone, this is Ashley. Welcome, Ashley, to the show. <laughs> Ashley. Ashley is the mother of this beautiful one-year-old girl named Zariah. 
When Ashley was dating her ex, Jerome, she was upset about the fact that Jerome, according to her, was cheating on her. So much so that she found comfort in the arms of Jerome's best friend, Darcy. So they began a sexual relationship. So today, Ashley is here to prove that Jerome, not Darcy, is baby Zariah's father. Watch. Jerome knows he's the father of my daughter. His friend Darcy has nothing to do with this. Everything was cool with Jerome until he started hanging out with his dumbass friends. Darcy needs to mind his own business. He needs to shut his mouth because he knows Jerome is the father. I sat with Darcy way after I played with Jerome's child. Jerome is a compulsive liar. He even lied to me and said he couldn't have kids. I know for a fact that he has one daughter that he needs to step up and take care of. Jerome is trying to make me look like a hoe, but when more read the results say he's the father, he's gonna look stupid. So, both Jerome and Darcy have been given DNA tests, and we're gonna reveal those results in a minute, okay? Let's get this straight about your relationship with Jerome and your relationship with Darcy. You thought Jerome started going out on you, right? Is that See, what happened? I knew he was going out on me. When he started stepping out to the clubs, that's when you got with Darcy or what? Um, Darcy I just convinced me to be with him because he was trying to tell me the bad stuff that Lucky was doing, that he was a better man. So, yeah, I slipped up and made a mistake. With Darcy? With Darcy, yes. But you're sure Darcy is not the father? I'm positive Darcy ain't the father. Okay, we're going to hear from Jerome and Darcy. This is what they had to say. My ex-girlfriend, Ashley, is nothing but a liar, a cheater, and a straight-up whore. Jerome and I are 100% sure that we are not the father of Ashley's baby. When me and Ashley was together, I was deaf for her. I did everything for her, and she repaid me by cheating on me. Ashley is so conniving. She even slept with my best friend, Darcy, behind my back. Me and Jerome are close. We are like brothers. For us, it's M.O.B., money over bitches. When Ashley got pregnant, I wasn't even in town. I can't wait till Maury read the results, saying that Darcy and Jerome is not the father. All right, everybody, here they are, Jerome and Darcy. Welcome. <laughs> All right, all right, don't okay. worry about it. Jerome, that baby looked like you. No, Maury. Not at all, Maury. That baby looked like him. Not at all, Maury. She don't look like you. Not at all, Maury. She don't look like you. Why? Because she a different color? Not at all, Maury. Because she a different color? I was nowhere in town color. when this baby was born. I was nowhere in town. We know you ain't finna do nothing. That's Darcy. why my daddy will want you around. You're the father of that child. No. No. No, I know I'm not. No. no. Y'all think Darcy's the father? Yeah. You yeah. think Jerome is the father? Whoa. Whatever. Whatever. But she says Dar she was not with Darcy when you got pregnant. Right, I was not with Darcy when I got pregnant. Oh, if you're the father it. of this child, you're going to take care of that no. child. Of course I will. No. Darcy, if you're the father of that child, hell you take no. care of it. Hell huh? no. Hell, hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. You don't believe either one of them? Hell no. We're going to find out right now. Find out right now. When it comes to one-year-old Zaria, Jerome, you are not the father. I told you this. You talking to me? I told you I went the father. I told you. You kept lying. I told hey, you. Hey, I hey, hey. I told you. I told you. When it comes to one-year-old Zaria Darcy, you are the father. <laughs> I know it's not the way you wanted it to come out, 
but but that's the way it is. That's the way it is, okay? All right? Okay? You're going to man up, right? Yeah. Step up. Take care of your responsibility. Mm -hmm. Okay? Thank you. Minnie is furious that her baby is denied. It's burn donor, because that's all you need. She says he offered her a deal. $600 to leave him alone for the rest of his life. She should have taken the money when she had the chance, because when I'm not the father, she's not going to get a time. But what will the deal be when the DNA results come out? Brandon? <laughs>
read them to him? Can you read it to yes. him? <laughs> They have three kids, but Troy says the two youngest are not his. Those two boys are not my kids. Troy, Troy. That's gotta be wrong. Three men tested, and the results were completely unexpected. You are the boss. But what happens after the show might be the most shocking part of all. Come on. You want to oh, dust it? Incredible, inconceivable paternity results. Dustin! Next. This is Amanda. Now, today, Amanda is knee-deep in DNA drama. But drama really is nothing new for Amanda because, sadly, her life has been filled with turmoil since the day she was born. Watch. Struggling with a severe learning disability and living in and out of foster homes, Amanda never felt like she had a true place in life. As a child, going from house to house, it was really hard not feeling like I belonged anywhere. Then at the age of 16, Amanda met Troy, a man 20 years older than her, and she thought her life was about to change for the better. Troy let me move in with him, and I was really happy at first. Then Troy, for hours, was leaving me alone with his kids to watch him. I felt more like his babysitter than I did his girlfriend. Just when things couldn't get worse for Amanda, Troy started to deny their two youngest sons. Troy don't help me at all with the kids. Troy's now denying the fact that they're even his kids. All I want is Troy to be a father to his sons. Struggling every day to get them what they need. I have no one. You all have three kids together. Yes, we do. Right. And the oldest, he doesn't deny, right? No, he, he says the oldest is his. Well, why the next two? Did he ever give you a reason? No, nope, he just walked out of their life. You think they, those kids look like Troy? Yes, they're a hundred percent him. Is he, is he involved in the oldest child's life? Yes, he takes them on weekends all the time. Oh, he does? Yes. But he won't take these two? No, he wants nothing to do with them. One of your children are sick, isn't he? Yes, Jacob's very sick. He's got a lot of stomach problems in and out of hospitals. I tell him about it, he don't even care. But you're positive he's the father of these two kids. I'm 100% positive. They look identical to him. Time we meet Troy. This is what Troy had to say. Amanda's two boys, Isaiah and Jacob, are not my kids, and I'm here to prove it. When things are good, Amanda says that Jacob is mine, and when things are bad, Amanda says that Jacob isn't mine and confused. I know Amanda was with another man when she got pregnant with Isaiah. Amanda meets guys off the internet all the time. One of them may be the father. I'm trying to move on with my life. She should do the same. After today, Amanda needs to find the real fathers of her children and leave me and my family alone. Everybody, please welcome Troy. Here's Troy. <laughs> What are you so upset at? What are you angry at? No, so she's been got... done doing nothing but lying and deceiving really? since the beginning. And what's... Oh, no. But if these two don't turn out to be mine today, you can bet we're going to be back here for more DNA on, on the, the oldest one. On the oldest one. I'm not going to sleep for all. You take off. Either one of these are your children? No. She was with another guy living over 100 miles away. Did she ever say away. to you that, that they weren't your kids? She has told me Jacob is not mine. Oh, I see. Well, we're going to find out about these two right now, okay? We'll find out if you want to take care of them.
When it comes to three-year-old Jacob, Troy. Two kids is Troy the father. Troy, Troy. That's got to be wrong. Three men tested, and the results were completely unexpected. You are the father. But what happens after the show might be the most shocking part of all. You want to dust it? Incredible, inconceivable paternity results. Dust it! Next. Struggling with a severe learning disability and living in and out of foster homes, Amanda never felt like she had a true place in life. As a child, going from house to house, it was really hard not feel like I belonged anywhere. Then at the age of 16, Amanda met Troy, a man 20 years older than her, and she thought her life was about to change for the better. Troy let me move in with him, and I was really happy at first. Just when things couldn't get worse for Amanda, Troy started to deny their two youngest son. Troy don't help me at all with the kids. Troy's now denying the fact that they're even his kids. All I want is Troy to be a father to his sons. You all have three kids together. Yes, we do. Right. And the oldest, he doesn't deny, right? No, he, he says the oldest is his. Well, why the next two? Did he ever give you a reason? No, nope, he just walked out of their life. Is he involved in the oldest child's life? Yes, he takes them on weekends all the time. Oh, he does? Yes. But he won't take these two? No, he wants nothing to do with them. But you're positive he's the father of these two kids. I'm 100% positive. Amanda's two boys, Isaiah and Jacob, are not my kids and I'm here to prove it. After today, Amanda needs to find the real fathers of her children and leave me and my family alone. When it comes to three-year-old Jacob, Troy, you are not the father. That's gotta be wrong. That's gotta be wrong. I told you. That's and when it right. comes to eight-and-a-half-month-old Isaiah Troy, you are not. Yes, I do. Amanda, if we, if you want us to help you find out who the fathers are, we'll be glad to. You know what he wants to do now? What? He wants to find out a DNA test on the oldest. Okay. You want to come back for that? Yeah. Okay. You want to you want to tell him anything? I'm sorry. I blame the kids on you. I could accept that, but I want to know if Dakota's actually mine too. Okay. Really because I thought he was 100% the father. I didn't think there was anybody else. Three men tested, and the results were completely unexpected. You are the father! But what happens after the show might be the most shocking part of all. You want to go? Dustin! Incredible, inconceivable paternity results. Dustin! Next. Earlier, Kaylin came to our show to prove to her ex-boyfriend Dustin that he was the father of her son. That baby's not yours, Dustin. He's not yours. Dustin believed the father was one of these two men, Justin or Derek. You're not his father, and you're not his father, so I don't even know why you're staying here. Kaylin also claimed she was pregnant with Dustin's child right now. Am I pregnant again with your baby? I don't know, are you? The results were in, and in what was truly a shocking turn of events, Kaylin's ex-boyfriend Dustin was proven not the father. And the DNA revealed that Derek is the real father of her son. Backstage after the show, Kaylin who again had said that she was pregnant with Dustin's baby right now, was desperate to find him. Dustin! Go, come on! You wanna go? Oh, you wanna go? Dustin! Relax. You get the bomb Come on, come on. Hey, relax. Come here, we're gonna talk here. Dustin was clearly extremely angry. <laughs> and began to physically threaten our cameraman. Camera out here! Point it on the Kaylin walked back to our studios to find the father of her son literally shaking. Are you upset now? Are you angry? Or what's going on? We hope that everybody in this hard situation does the right thing for baby Julia. Keep watching future shows 
for updates. Until next time, America. brought to our show by their mothers because they're having sex in public. I had sex in school, park, I don't care. They're getting into fights. You got a problem with it? Step up and watch what happens. And they're doing drugs. One time I found weed in your backpack. She said, I'm not smoking it, I'm selling it. Lashana's out of control and she's only 14 years old. I do not know what to do. She'll go up to grown men, her bikini on and her body half -length. And we gave her a lie detector test. She thinks that you've had sex with one person. With a lot of detective determined. How many more men you gonna have sex How with? How many did you have sex with when you was young? Imagine if your 15-year-old daughter was playing games with her friends like this. Who could use the most condoms in a week? I'm 15 years old. This is my world, my life. Shut up! Shut up! Her 14-year-old recently turned her attention to girls. You're now experimenting with all kinds of sex. Yeah. Will the teen stop having unprotected sex when they see this? A single mother at just 17 years old. I don't want to be no single mom. Oh. <laughs> and a 16-year-old boy who never told his family that he might be the father. I ain't know how to handle the situation. Will <laughs> this teen find her baby's father today? KJ? <laughs> These teens are going to find out what their future holds if they don't decide to change. You guys think that this can't happen to you? Can these young girls handle just one day in jail? Is this what they want? Their mothers desperately need our help. Wild teens confronted. Everyone, this is Rhonda. Welcome Rhonda to the show. Now, Rhonda. Rhonda has a 14-year-old daughter named Lashana. This is what Lashana thinks. She thinks it's cool to sneak out in the middle of the night, have sex and fist fights with other girls. In fact, Lashana bragged she's been in more than 60 street fights. One time, Rhonda physically tried to get in her daughter's way, and Lashana, the 14-year-old, sl sliced her mother's hand with a knife. Here's Rhonda's story. My 14-year-old daughter, Lashana, is so out of control, I do not know what to do. One day, my daughter, Lashana, grabbed me, and she pulled my shirt over my head, and I fell into a glass table. She treats me like an animal, and it's so violent, and it scares me. I don't take nobody, and if they got a problem with it, we can fight. I've been in over 60 fights, and if any bitch step up, guess what? I'm going to beat that because they don't want me. But Shana told me that she had sex with one person, but I believe it's more. I have sex wherever I want, when I want, and however I want to do it. You got a problem with it? Step up and watch what happens. My daughter is obsessed with trying to hide razors in her mouth. She's a big old crybaby. I do whatever I have to do to protect myself because she's not always there with me. I'm terrified because Shana might end up pregnant in jail. And they might find her on the side of the road dead. And I can't take that. <laughs> so, let me set this up, Rhonda. Lashana wants to go out. You say no. She says, I'm going out. She, what happens at home? She starts cussing and calling me bitch, bitches and things like that. Oh. Will, she, will she put her hands on you? One time I was trying to go out and she wanted me to give her a cell phone that was mine and I refused to give it to her so she grabbed me and she pulled my clothes up over my shoulders and she me across the room, you know, and when I was falling across the room, I was trying not to fall into a glass table, and she didn't even care, and then she got on top of me, and then a bunch of people ran in, and she was talking about I was abusing her and stuff. And you got your hand sliced once? Yes, I, one time she had gotten smacked by someone, and she came in, and she just cut my hand, and uh, With a knife? it made me feel really bad. Yeah, 
I don't want her. I didn't want her to go out there and cut no one because it could cause her a lot of problems. And she used to hide razor blades in her mouth. In her mouth, yeah. She wants to see everybody get their get cut. She wants to cut everybody, even her own brother. And how about the sex? She said she had sex with one person. But you want to know? Yes, sir. You want to know the real reason? Yes, sir. You want to know the answers about the sex? Yes, sir. And we gave her a lie detector test. <laughs> Just like that all the time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, it's time to meet Lashana. Here's Lashana. Lashana, come on in. Yeah, what do you mean that you don't? Well, she's trying to do is protect you. Don't you understand yeah, that? So what? So what? All you get. Shut up. So what? It don't matter, wrong. They Why doesn't it matter? Me. Why doesn't it, it matter? It does matter. Don't let nothing tell me. 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 Don't let
You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> you were asked how many boys you've had sex intercourse with. You admitted to two. You told your mother three. The lie detector test determined you've had sex with more than four boys. <laughs> you were asked if you ever had a pregnancy scare. You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. That's messed up. That and I, my love don't mean nothing to you then. So what do you suggest that I do to help you? So do you got anything it's that you, you got any diseases right Did now? Did anybody know? Do you I don't. How do you know? I already know, Mama. We've we, you know? we been to the doctor. How I do you know? I ain't never tested you for that. Okay, but you got four different baby daddies. Is anybody anything about that? That's all right. No. Is anybody talking right. anything about that? So get out my face and So because I got four different baby so daddies, you're going to have sex with four different men? How you going to put that on me? So how many more men you going to have sex with? How many more? How many did you have sex with when you was young? Oh. You got to oh. Wait a second. 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 Guess what? I done lived this far. This is where I done lived. Are you going to be here this many years? Lashana. Are you going to be there here this many years? I'm here. I'm 47. You're 14. You going to make it here? to save yourself and God saves me and he can save you but if you don't choose it we'll be back right after this we'll be right back imagine if your 15 year old daughter was playing games with her friends like this who could use the most condoms in a week I'm 15 years old this is my world my life shut up, shut up. Will the teens stop having unprotected sex when they see this? A single mother at just 17 years old. I don't want to be no single mom. Oh. And a 16-year-old boy who never told his family that he might be the father. I ain't know how to handle the situation. Will this teen find her baby's father today? KJ? <laughs> Their mothers desperately need our help. Wild teens confronted. Everyone, this is Shannon. Welcome, Shannon, to the show. Now, now, we all know that kids like to play games. But imagine if your 15-year-old daughter's idea of a fun game was competing with her friend to see who could use the most condoms in a week. That's what Shannon has to deal with. Her 15-year-old daughter, Tiana, is sexually out of control. You see, Deanna lost her virginity at the age of 12. <laughs> Did it at the public park <laughs> and the school playground. <laughs> this is what Shannon has to deal with. I'm 15 years old. This is my world, my life. I'll live it however I want to live it. I get in trouble every day, and I'm tired of my mom getting in my face about it. I've been in over 35. My 15-year-old daughter is destroying her life, and I don't know what to do anymore. I had sex in some crazy places. School, park, I don't care. I even had sex with two guys at the same time. But I'm more into the one-on-one -on -one thing. Tiana's already had two pregnancy scares, and I'm scared she's going to have another one. Pregnancy scared? I wasn't scared. I would have loved to have a baby then. Tiana smokes cigarettes, she drinks, and smokes weed. I've seen her high over 100 I only smoke weed one time a day. I go into my own little world and ignore my mom, and that's the best part. I am so scared for my daughter's life. My biggest fear is that she's going to wind up dead someday. How did it get like this? I don't know. She was a perfect little girl and just all of a sudden turned out to be crazy. How do you find out that she has sex in public places? Um, friends had, it was rumors going around. She had told one friend that didn't think it would say anything and it got around and got to me and that's how I found out. Guess who Tiana's new best friend is? Oh. Right over there. So Tiana goes out and has Whatever. sex in the park. In the park. All kinds of people around. Right? And then and then they started, she and her friends started laughing about something. What were they laughing about? Um, they were laughing about the condoms. Who can use the most condoms in a week? And 
it's just well, crazy. how many guys has she been with? I know of three or four. I don't know if there's oh, more, no, but I just know there is. What? Though, what? What? What did you son? tell her to stop? Why? Yeah. How dare yeah. you yeah. tell her to stop? <laughs> She's crying because she but loves her up. daughter. You understand? Okay, look, but that's her. You're not talking like that. I thought you cared about your daughter. You're just sit down and look at that dog. Stop that. Sit down, dog. You not that. Look at that. I don't want to hear none of that. Stop that. You sit down. You don't cry. You sit down. 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 Shannon, when your daughter was 12, she had sex. Yeah. 12. I told her, I was like, it's not a cute thing, you out there doing, having sex at 12 years old. You want to have sex with somebody when you're older that you can, you know, love somebody. It's a special thing. What did she do on Halloween? Um... She had told me on Halloween, she came up to me when we were at the store and said, guess what, Mom? And I said, what? And she's like, I had sex with this 19-year-old that she's known 19-year-old. Oh, boy, I can't wait to meet her. And LaShana, of course, wants her new best friend out here on the set. Here's Tiana. Tiana, come on out. Here she is. Are you an exhibitionist? You know what an exhibitionist is? No. The exhibitionist is like, they like to go around in public places and demonstrate what they're about. So you like to go around in public places and have sex. Is that right? So what? You think that's so? cool? That's cool. So? It's my life. I can live what oh, I want to live. Julia. Obviously, clearly. I, want, I, I gotta talk to you about them. We're in the middle of the night. Either I go kick it with my friends to drink or smoke, or I go meet with some boys. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can block out your world. Do you think you can block out your frustrations by going and get high? You yep. think You think that? That's. You know what that is? That's copping out of life. You understand? You're taking a cop out. <laughs> that means. That means. That you don't want to deal with life, you want to put life in a in, in its world, and you in your own little world. Guess what? That's not the way it is. Tiana, I I really don't think you want to be where you are. I don't think you want to be there. Now. I don't you want to be and the Shana, the way we want no, to. no, 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 no. We just want to be able to no. do what we want to do. Let him talk. This is his show. Exactly. Thank you very much. Hey, I mean, for you. No, no, guess Jay's, what? No, Jay's but guess what? Guess what? You can't be that selfish. You have no right to be that selfish. You have a family. They care about you. And you should care that they care. Yeah, but still, I mean, I mean, I mean, I feel like, I feel like if I want to do that, I can do that because that's how I take away. You ever put your hands on your mother? I slapped her. You slapped your mother. Why would you do that? Because she didn't think I was going to do it, so I did it. <laughs> what were you doing? What What were you doing that your mother got mad at you? What were I you doing? I asked her for a cigarette, and she wouldn't give it to oh, me. Oh, she wouldn't give you a cigarette. <laughs> so you slapped her. Yep. We'll be right back after this. Oh, these are a couple of beauties today. We'll be back with a third one after this. Her 14-year-old recently turned her attention to girls. You're now experimenting with all kinds of sex. Yeah. Will the teens stop having unprotected sex when they see this? A single mother at just 17 years old. I don't want to be no single mom. I don't want to 
<laughs> and a 16-year-old boy who never told his family that he might be the father. I didn't know how to handle the situation. Will this teen find her baby's father today? AJ? <laughs> Their mothers desperately need our help. Wild teens confronted. Everybody, welcome Karen to the show. Here's Karen. Now, Karen has a 14-year-old daughter named Amber. But Amber is headed down a dangerous road of sex and violence. You see, her 14-year-old is sexually active and already is known for having a bad reputation around town. But Amber's not ashamed of that. You see, Amber admits having sex with guys, and recently Amber says she's turned her attention to girls. What? My daughter Amber is 14 years old. She's already drinking, doing drugs, and having sex. She won't talk to me about it. I'm just scared for her. I feel like I'm at my wit's end. I can't tell you how many times I go to work crying and my coworkers are like, they just are praying for me. What I think about when I'm crying with Amber is that I lost my little girl and I don't know how to get her back. My daughter Amber means the world to me. I miss the little girl that she was. I really need help before it's too late. Look at that face. Now, you've called the cops 10 times on her. Or more. Why, what'd she do? Um, I've called the cops on her many times. Running away. One time I found weed in her backpack and she told me, don't worry, mom. She said, I'm not smoking it, I'm selling it. Is that what she said? Now, I just said about this sex life. She doesn't know whether she wants to be with boys or girls, does she? No. She did like guys, and now she's in love with a girl named Her Um. And by the way, Amber's 14. 14. This other girl is 18. She just turned 18. Who's that? That's my baby. You know, when she was 12, you saw a video of her, right? I did. What was she doing? There was a videotape of her and a bunch of other people smoking weed. Oh. At 12. I want to find out what that is. Amber, 14. Here's Amber. Well, that's the first nice demonstration of anything. Tiana, your mother a hug. No. No? <laughs> Love your mother. Yeah. So why so much trouble? Why I don't you, mean to. Huh? I don't mean to get much trouble. You don't mean to. It just happens. Well, but the things you do, yeah. I mean, they automatically, they provoke this yeah. kind of reaction with your mother. But I can't change the things I do. Well, yeah, you can. Yeah, I can, but not, not all at once. Not all at once? Mm -hmm. So you would like to change the things? Some things, yeah. Well, yeah. Give, me, give me one thing you'd like to change. Uh, not to make my mom cry. At 14, we would hope that girls haven't had sex. You not only have had sex, you're now experimenting with all kinds of sex, right? Yeah. You think about your actions before you do them? Yeah, sometimes I think it afterward, but I'm, sometimes I know that I made a mistake. Wow. We'll be back. Right now. These teens are going to find out what their future holds if they don't decide to change. She's a teenage girl who almost lost it all. I don't want to see you go through what I went through, okay? Do you hear me? Will the teens stop having unprotected sex when they see this? A single mother at just 17 years old. I don't want to be no single mom. Oh. <laughs> and a 16-year-old boy who never told his family that he might be the father. I didn't know how to handle the situation. Will this teen find her baby's father today? KJ? <laughs> Their mothers desperately need our help. Wild teens confronted. So, 
the time has come for us to try to turn around these kids who are clearly hell-bent on destroying their future. Now, I have a guest. I'm going to bring a guest out here. Her name is Jamie. And Jamie is here to share with us her shockingly painful story. You see, she's a teenage girl who almost lost it all, including her life. Watch. At just 12 years old, Jamie ran away from home and began living an out-of-control life that included sex, drugs, and much older men. I left home when I was 12 years old and moved in with my 29-year-old boyfriend. We would have sex, drink liquor, and get high. Everything was great as long as I did what he said. But things took a frightening turn when Jamie said no to the man who supposedly loved her. The first time that I told my boyfriend that I didn't want to have sex, he raped me. I was only 13 years old. After that, he put a lock on the front door and boarded up the front windows. And then he started beating me on a regular basis. He kicked me in my ribs 36 times and dumped me from the hospital like I was just a piece of trash. Trapped in the world she had created, Jamie became addicted to drugs and often moved from place to place. When I was 15 years old, I was doing drugs before I always got high with. He told me that I was tired just to go lay down in his room on his bed. I woke up to find his friend on me being raped again. At 17 years old, Jamie was desperate to get off the streets. So she decided to return home. But what would happen next would change her life forever. I was crying walking home. And this man pulled it aside and asked me if I needed a ride. When I told him which way to go, he didn't go that way. And then I knew I was in trouble. He pulled into the lot and pulled out a gun. He fired it up the window and told me, bitch, if you don't do what I tell you to do, you're going to die. I believed him, and then he raped me. I never thought anything like this could happen to me when I was young, but it did. I had to live with those memories of those years for the rest of my life. Everybody, please welcome Jamie. Here's Jamie. So, hearing that story, hearing your story again, you get upset just I, uh, retelling it. I do, because it's something I'm going to live with for the rest of my life. There is a particular girl here you already have a connection with, isn't it? Yeah. Which one? Tiana. It's my Tiana niece. Tiana is your niece. Tiana is your niece. What do you want to tell her right now? Tiana, you need to change. I don't want to see you go through what I went through, OK? I don't want you to be a victim. Do you hear me? Tiana, it's not too late, all right? Do you hear me? Now we have one more person backstage that is going to try to talk some sense into these wild teen girls. Our special ops expert, Dave Vitale, here's Dave. tough no more. You've got nothing to say. You do not look as tough as you did when you were running your lip backstage and out here to this audience. Now your reality check is coming today. And you play with me, I'm going to play back. Remember, look at me. Now you said people hide behind their badges, right? Is that what you've been out here running your lip about? Here's my badge, sweetheart. I'm not hiding behind mine. What do you got to say to me? Disrespect your mother? You want to disrespect? Don't you dare put a smirk on your face. I don't want to see a smirk on your face again for the rest of the day. You understand me? Now, you think you're going to come out here and be all nice and be all cute and this and that and hug your mother because you think that you're going to be all sweet and nice now? You should have thought of that before you ended up with your butt here on this stage. So, what are you going to do with these people, Dave? I want all you girls to get up. I want every one of you to stand right, up. Stand up, stand please. Up. Amber, Deanna. Stand up. Okay. Stand up. Turn and look at your mother. Turn and look at your mother. I want you to say goodbye to her, but it's going to be a while before you see him again, so I'm taking you to Mammoth County Correctional Facility. Okay. 
So we're going out here. All right. Thank you very Thank much, you. everybody. Let's go, girls. Thank you very much. Let's go. We'll be back right after this. Thank you. These teens are going to find out what their future holds if they don't decide to change. You guys think that this can't happen to you? Can these young girls handle just one day in jail? Is this what they want? Will the teens stop having unprotected sex when they see this? A single mother at just 17 years old. I don't want to be no single mom. Oh. And a 16-year-old boy who never told his family that he might be the father. I ain't know how to handle the situation. Will this teen find her baby's father today? KJ? <laughs> Their mothers desperately need our help. Wild teens confronted. Everybody welcome Shanice to the show. She's very scared. Why are you so scared? Because I'm here to take a paternity test for my son to prove to a boy named KJ that he's the father. Okay. This is her baby, by the way, her baby son, Montrell. <laughs> At 17, mm -hmm. she put her dreams of graduating high school and becoming a registered nurse on hold because of this guy, 16-year-old KJ. <laughs> See, Shanice said she didn't plan on having a baby with but now that he's here, KJ needs to step up and be a dad, you see? <laughs> Janice believes the reason that KJ isn't owning up to his responsibilities is because of his family, and particularly his grandmother, Audrey. Take a look at the story. It's hard being a 17-year-old single mother, and it's even harder being a single mother without the baby father. KJ kept me and the baby hidden from his family for a whole year. Now they're denying the baby and making it sound it's my fault, it's KJ's fault that he kept the baby a secret. His grandmama said he can't help me with the baby because he has to go to school. Well, I want him to go to school and become a nurse. I'm gonna do all that and be a good mother and he should be able to do the same too. KJ should be a man and not a boy. He should stop listening to his grandmother and do what's right for our baby. This test is big. I don't want to be no single mama for everyone that's not here. Yes, y'all, please don't have a baby, y'all, because you have to put so much. Oh. <laughs> now. What happened when you told him you were pregnant? He told me to get an abortion because he didn't want his family to find out. What did his family say? Well, I got a call from his grandmother, and she called me, and she said, my baby doesn't look like him. His grandmother is here. You know that? Yes. Audrey? Hi, Audrey. How are you? Hi, Mari. How are you? Nice to see you. You think that child's your grandbaby? Mari, I really can't say one way or the other. I'm happy that we found out about this. Uh, my grandson has been buying Pampers with the allowance that I gave him. My grandson's not a deadbeat. We're not a deadbeat family. I told you over the phone. I never... When I spoke with you over the phone, I told you, I said, let's be sure with the DNA test. Yeah, okay. so and what if this son but turns out to be yeah. my great-grandson, I would assist you so you can go to school and make something out of yourself. So let's find out what your grandson has. I'd like to know today. Thank Take you. Take a look. It's a possibility that I'm the father of this child, and it's a possibility that I'm not. I was only 14 when she first told me she was pregnant, and my first thought was, I'm not ready for a child right now. I know I was wrong for hiding Shanice and the baby from my family, but I was young, and I didn't know how to deal with the situation at the time. My grandma had nothing to do with this situation. If it's my child, I'm gonna take care of my responsibility. Shanice, if this is not my child, you have no reason to contact me whatsoever. Everybody welcome KJ to the show. Here's KJ. Hi, KJ, how are you? Nice to see you. Welcome. Come on over here. All right, so this is what I get out of this, KJ, without even talking to you. This was a terrible mistake, right? Yeah, right. If you're the father, you're prepared to take care of that baby. 
Me so young, I handle my responsibility. <laughs> okay, Audrey, we're gonna find out right now. In the case of 11 month old Montrell, KJ, you are not. These teens are going to find out what their future holds if they don't decide to change. You guys think that this can't happen to you? Can these young girls handle just one day in jail? Their mothers desperately need our help. Wild teens confronted. These three teens were brought to our show by their mothers because they were getting into fights. I've been in over 60 fights, and if any bitch step up, I'm gonna beat their ass. Doing drugs. One time I found weed in your backpack. She said, I'm not smoking it, I'm selling it. And having sex in public. I had sex in some crazy places. School, park, I don't care. To show these young teens exactly what will happen if they continue this out of control behavior. Special Ops expert Dave Vitale brought these girls straight to jail. You are now inmates of the Mammoth County Correctional Facility and you will be addressed as such. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Let's go. Once inside, the teens were marked single file through the booking area, up the stairwells, and through maximum security corridors. Your freedoms are now gone. They were led directly to where female inmates are locked up under supervision 23 hours a day. These inmates were going to try to scare these teens straight and make them realize that this is the last place they would ever want to end up. You guys think that what this can't happen to you? You're going to be somebody else's chick up in here. Why don't you tell them about the condom game that you had with your girlfriend to see how many people, how many condoms you could use in a week? Wow. wow. I'm here. You don't want to be in here. Wipe that smirk off days. your face. Please. You're the one who hit your mother. Am I right? She feeds you, she clothes you, she bathed you, and you've got the audacity to actually put your hands on your mother. Do you love your mother? Do you want her here with you now? She cannot come in here. She's not allowed to come in here. What you are doing and the way that you're going in this road of the life that you're choosing is going to end up two places, in here or in a box. That's where you're going to end up. Even though the inmates were with the teens for only a short time, these young girls were incredibly affected. It's okay. It's all right. If you could tell your mother something, she's going to be watching this tape. What do you want to tell your mother? <laughs> that I'm sorry for everything I did to her, and I need to learn how to respect her and start giving her attitude. What else do you need to learn? <laughs> that I need to learn how to respect myself and stop doing the things I'm doing. We're doing this for you. The teen's trip to jail is not over. Wait until they see what it feels like to be locked alone in a cell. I'm scared it won't be more. Their mothers desperately need our help. Wild teens confronted. After an unforgettable meeting with the female inmates, Dave Vitale was going to reinforce how important it is for these teens to change by having them spend time locked up in a cold, cramped jail cell. I'm scared it won't be more. I just want to grow up and finish school and get a good job. I promise I won't do anything bad no more. I just want me more. Listen to me, you're a kid. You're allowed to make a mistake, all right? But as long as you learn from it, it's not a mistake. It's a learning experience. You can change. Everything's going to change today. There's no reason to think that you cannot turn your life around, ever. You can be whatever you want to be. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter if you have money, you don't have money. It means absolutely nothing. Mom, I want to change. Do you mean it? I do. What do you want to change, honey? I want to change my attitude and my behavior. 
it's gonna be okay. Okay. It looks like the message was reaching all of the teams. I don't want to end up here. And we were all happy to see a complete attitude change in the way these young girls were dealing with their mothers. I'm sorry for treating you like and I promise you I'm gonna change. I think she woke up. I I'm think glad. she had a reality check pretty quick. I'm sorry, I'll change. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to change everything, stop doing what I'm doing, and hopefully we can build a better relationship. I love you. I love you too, people. I can't make it without you. I really can't. Okay? I love you. We sincerely wish these teens and their families the best of luck. Until next time, America. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 